What's up guys, this is vlog 24 for my Spain journals. Today I just got into Madrid. Um, yesterday I didn't do an update. I was with Claudia, so if you saw my Instagram post, it was a friend from university. It was kind of like a, a small world thing and I'm gonna talk about it in a second, but um, today I am doing my update for yesterday and today as well. I arrived into Madrid and I'm currently in the Plaza Mayor. It's one of my favorite things to do right away in a city. Um, besides doing a free tour, which I'm doing tomorrow, um, going to the Plaza Mayor just because there's always something going on and the one in Madrid is just massive and really common to go to. So that's why, that's why I'm here. Just had my sangria and um, yeah, just kind of hanging out for the night, got settled in, got my, uh, got my groceries for the couple, the few days that I'm here and then um, tomorrow, well, let's, let's talk about yesterday first. So yesterday I talk, talked with Claudia and that was kind of like a very, a very, very small world thing. Um, and I loved, that was just like a, it was just a fun experience for me to like, even before I knew anything about Spain and um, really even cared about, like, like I cared about learning Spanish, but um, I wasn't extremely passionate about back then, especially in my freshman year of college. Um, it wasn't the first thing on my mind, and so she was just a kind of a random friend from university. But it's one of those things where, like, when I know the language, it opens up these doors and these friendships are all, literally around the world. And so it was awesome. And not only was I able to speak Spanish with her and her parents, but then also it was kind of a fresh a breath of fresh air when she was able to speak English with me. Like, I don't know. I mean, if you do know another language, it's definitely like when you're in another country you're always thinking that language you're always using that language but then when someone else is able to kind of connect with you and she knows like american culture so it was it was just kind of like a breath of fresh air to like talk with someone that really could like you connect with um right now that's something that i'm struggling with like i i usually work with people to get to a base conversational level but there's there's probably even a higher step above like just conversation is just connecting with people on a deep level and like showing your personality and sarcasm and things like that and I'm still working on that that's something that I'm not I haven't like reached that in Spanish yet um, I like a part of my personality is almost like missing it's it, from that from the vlogs that Japanese in a year is doing actually um, he, he described it pretty well and like now after watching his video it's like yeah that's actually so true so it was fun to just like connect with her again. Um, I remember her like, she like edited one of my papers and um, yeah, it was just like, just kind of like a friend at Iowa State or whatever. And so it was just kind of random to, to meet with her. I, I think I sent her a message or something um, and asked her like where to go to for paella. And then she en ended up, or her parents ended up inviting me over uh, for paella for the afternoon um, We visited a beach we visited like a castle even though we didn't get to go in we had some horchata Which I'm hopeful. I'm gonna I'm gonna post that on Instagram pretty soon show you guys what that looks like but yeah, it was just a really fun day yesterday, and I I Enjoy traveling solo. It's really fun for me to travel solo, but it's really like I want to connect with people as well That's why I was thankful for my Airbnb host he was, he was very much like a friend, like he was, he was very, very helpful. He was only working with me, so it was a lot more personal, but um, it was just fun to connect with Claudia in that, in that way, just because I hadn't spoken to her for like five years. So yeah, it was, it was a good day. Today I went with, I um, got here, I'm in my blah blah car, in a, in a blah blah car, which I wish that we had in the US. It's basically just like ride sharing and kind of like Uber, but a lot less expensive. And the driver just sets, so like anyone can be a blah, blah driver. Like you don't have, it's not, you don't have to like go through a process with like Uber necessarily. It's a, li a little less formal per se, but it works out really well, especially with someone that has a lot of reviews. Like it works really well. They, he went from Valencia to Madrid, dropped me off at my, at my Metro stop and and then I went to my, to my place. And so, it, yeah, it just worked out really well. And my Airbnb is a little bit different this time. Um, it's a little bit more communal. communal. Um, there's like, it's like a, it's a whole flat. So there's like 
five or six other rooms um, in there as well. Oh, I'm getting a little mist. I'm sitting in like a little restaurant here and they like have mist coming down because it's so stinking hot here. It's like 100 degrees at, in the middle of the day. So at least it's dry though. I do prefer dry instead of the, uh, the humid like they, like they had in Valencia or Minnesota, I guess. Um, but the downside is they also don't have a beach. So I don't know, I guess it, it just gets really hot. Um, so yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Right now I'm in Madrid, safe, settled into my Airbnb. And something that I'm excited about tomorrow is I'm gonna go to the Prado. I actually don't, I didn't get to know Madrid at all. So, so like the last time I came to Cáceres, I was here for six months and I got to know all these like kind of, I mean, a lot of, a lot of parts of Spain, but I like pretty much passed through Madrid in like a half day. Like I really didn't visit it at all. And so it's, that's usually the opposite. Like this, it's usually the, first place that people go and it's my last place that I'm gonna go um, at least in the last two trips that I've been here but um, I'm excited to go to Prado which is like the classic museum here I'm also gonna be going to the what's it called the Reina Sofia Reina Sofia um, museum which is the art I believe it's the art museum it has Dali's famous Guernica and I only know that just because I had to teach on it this last year um, in, in high school and then also learned it in school. So that is gonna be fun to see like with my own eyes. And what else am I doing tomorrow? Um, I've got my free walking tour, just like I, like I mentioned. I love doing that right away, first morning that I'm here, um, just to kind of get an idea of what's in the city and things like that. And then also tomorrow I'm thinking about doing like a, uh, like a conversational meetup. If you don't know, in Minneapolis, I didn't help start one, but I used to lead a conversational Spanish meetup in Minneapolis. And now I kind of just go every once in a while just because my schedule is getting packed with school and stuff going on in life. So um, I haven't been going as consistently, but I was thinking I should try going here just to meet some new people and try out, try, try it out here and see what they do. Um, so I thought that might be might be a fun thing. So yeah, that's kind of what I've got on the agenda for the, for the next day at least. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to more people to see what I should do and what, yeah, what three days could look like here in Madrid. I, I know it, it's huge, so there's not gonna be a shortage of things to do, which is, which is a good thing. Um, and now I'm gonna do a quick thing in Spanish just for my Spanish audience. Uh, hola, um, estoy aquí en Madrid, seguro. Um, lo que hice ayer, bueno, lo que voy a hacer ahora es una noticia muy corto y básicamente lo que hice ayer eh, estaba, bueno, estaba con una amiga de mi universidad, um, aprendí una expresión nueva, el mundo es como un, eh, no, el mundo es un panuelo y significa the small world, es, es como el, el, la tierra o el mundo es, es pequeño, es algo de casualidad. Y bueno, nos, nos quedamos eh, en su casa. Tenía, yo tenía un, una paella uh, de su casa y fue increíble. Me encantó el, el, la paella de aquí, en Val, bueno, de ahí en Valencia. Y sí, eh, fue como algo, algo guay, algo chulo para, para saber más de ella y de lo que está haciendo. Y bueno, también tener una persona que habla inglés y también que sabe la, la cultura de los Estados Unidos. Entonces, <ríe> está aquí. <ríe> es mi Hola, camarero. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? <ríe> es mi noticia. Gracias. Uh, entonces, eso es lo que hice ayer. Y hoy estoy en... Um, bueno, obviamente estoy en Madrid. Um, estoy en el centro, en la Plaza Mayor. Y bueno, voy a mostrarles alguno, bueno, un poco de, de, de la plaza porque me encanta. Y bueno, estoy, bueno, tengo mi Airbnb. Y también mañana me voy al Prado, lo, el clásico. También el, la Reina Sofía eh, que tiene la guer, Guernica. Y también quizás un grupo de conversación solo para um, conocer más, más gente aquí en, en Madrid. Entonces, sí, eso es, una, es, es mi noticia. Gracias por mirar, mirar. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to show you a little bit of 
the Madrid Plaza Mayor now. So I'm going to turn the screen around. Thanks for watching. Shops all around. So in the center, there's kind of like restaurants. Um, and then also like in the very center, there's like that big statue with the horse. That's very common. Um, I'm going to walk out here just a little bit. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a huge plaza, very, very touristy. And I look very touristy with my selfie stick right now. So yeah, there's, there's that. There's the, uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in here on the uh, caballo. But every Spanish city has like a caballo um, statue, which is fun to see. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Ciao.